Earthquake warning, Earth's rotation is slowly slowing down and it will lead to major tremors. This is what geologists are explaining. Sean Martin explains on uh, Express UK, Earth's rotation is mysteriously slowing down and it could lead to an increase in major disasters such as earthquakes. This is what researchers are warning. Scientists have long known that the rotation of the Earth is slowing down as we've seen sporadically throughout history. But experts now realize the consequences that come with this is uh, it includes earthquakes. The speed of Earth's rotation fluctuates extremely mildly, they say, extending or decreasing the length of the day by a millisecond, but this tiny deceleration could have devastating repercussions. And now exactly why a decrease in rotation speed can lead to more major earthquakes is unclear, but experts feel that it could be down to changes in the Earth's core, which ultimately has the effect on the Earth's surface. Another theory is that the Moon is moving farther away from our planet, slowing it down ever so slightly as it does. Professor of Geoscience Stephen Myers of the University of Wisconsin-Madison said, as the Moon moves away, the Earth is likely a spinning figure skater who slows down as they stretch out their arms. Physicist Paul Walarski explained on Physics Forum PhysLinks, to picture what's happening, imagine yourself riding a bicycle on a track built around a merry-go-round. You're riding in the same direction that it is turning. If you have a lasso and rope, one of the horses, you would gain speed and the merry-go-round would lose some. In this analogy, you and your bike represent the moon, the merry-go-round is the rotating earth, and your lasso is gravity. In orbital mechanics, a gain in speed results in a higher orbit. The slowing rotation of the earth results in a longer day as well as a longer month. Once the length of a day equals the length of a month, the tidal friction mechanism will cease. Hence, once your speed on the track matches the speed of the horses, you can't gain any more speed with your lasso trick. That's been projected to happen once the day and month both equal about 47 current days, billions of years in the future. But what is known is that a slower planet could increase the number of earthquakes. Research from Roger Billum in the University of Colorado in Boulder and Rebecca Bendick of the University of Montana in Missoula looked at earthquakes with a magnitude higher than, um, than what, it doesn't say here, ever since 1900. The duo found five years since the turn of the 20th century where there are significantly more than magnitude seven earthquakes, all of which were years that Earth's uh, rotation speed had slowed down slightly. So the, obviously we have, we do have uh, whenever we do have an earthquake it does do, it does do something to the Earth's axis as well. It's not just the speed, but it's also perhaps the axis that tilts. Professor Billum said in these periods there were between 25 to 30 intense earthquakes a year. The rest of the time the average figure was about 15 major earthquakes a year. The correlation between Earth's rotation and earthquake activity is strong and suggests there is going to be an increase in numbers of intense earthquakes. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube 
channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.